This is a demonstration of the Tasks Factory Hadoop Web HDFS source. The Task Factory Hadoop Web HDFS source allows you to take a file which has been placed on Hadoop and use that file as a data source within your SSIS packages. Setting this up is simple. All you have to do is first set up a custom connection manager that will connect to your Hadoop site. Once you have set up the connection manager, you will then simply configure the Hadoop Web HDFS source control from Task Factory. Let's look at each of these steps in a little more detail. First, we'll simply right click in the connection managers area and say new connection. And in the list, you'll see here we have a connection manager for Task Factory Hadoop. That's Hadoop Connector. And we would simply click Add. Now in this example I already have one created so let me just open it up so you can see what's in here. You can see we've started by indicating the URL to our Web HDFS server. We have appended the appropriate port number for accessing the Web HDFS system. In this case 50070. We've also indicated the username that we'll use to access the server. And if I test connection, you'll see that we successfully connected. So what exactly do we have up here? Well, if I bring up the web page for this particular Hadoop cluster, you can see that I have a file called pwtest.txt. This simple file will be the source for our demonstration. What's in this file? Well, if you come down here, you'll see we have it open in Notepad. And it starts off with a surrogate key, a first name, a last name, a date of hire, and then we are using a colon for the record separator. Now this is optional. We can use a colon, we can use carriage return line feed, or any custom character that you wish to use. Now that we've established our connection, we need to configure our Task Factory Hadoop Web HDFS source. So I'm going to open this up. And you can see here the first thing we have to do is indicate what the connection manager is. And that's the one we created in the connection manager just a moment ago. We then indicate the file name, in this case pwtest.txt. We then need to configure what is in the file. Does our data contain headers? What is the road delimiter? In this case, I have changed it to a colon. We also indicate the column delimiter by default a comma and the text qualifier. We then came down and we identified what is in each individual column. In our first column, it is the ID. And like all good numbering systems, our data always starts with zero. So the first index is always going to be zero and we had to declare the data type. In this case, we selected DTI4 from our drop-down list. We then filled out the first name and last name information, filling out the length of 50, and finally the hire date, which we declared as a DTDB timestamp. We add a new item simply by clicking on Add New, and if our file changes for whatever reason, we can remove columns by using the Remove button. Once we fill out everything, we can click OK. And then we're set to go to execute the package. Right click and execute. The date of view where I placed on here will pause this in a moment and show us the contents of the file as it reads it in. And here is the contents of our file their ID, first name, last name, and hire date. So you can see setting up a connector to your web HDFS system is pretty simple. It makes it easy to reuse data stored inside Hadoop from SSIS.